Welcome to Shiraz Enterprise 47, your Etsy fashion store. Shop with the confidence. Hurry up now, 30% off. Find the link in the description. Taylor Swift's highly anticipated era's tour is poised to shatter more records as it lands in London. The 34-year-old pop sensation will kick off the first of eight shows at the iconic Wembley Stadium on Friday, June 21, and is expected to add nearly $381 million around £300 million, to the UK capital's economy, according to data released by the Greater London Authority, GLA, on Thursday, June 20. The GLA estimates that around 700,000 people will attend Swift's London performances this summer. She is set to perform three consecutive nights at Wembley Stadium, followed by five more nights in August. The era's tour has broken records and created huge excitement so I'm delighted that Taylor Swift has chosen to perform more nights in London than anywhere else in the world, said the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. Her eight performances will bring nearly 700,000 fans from across the country and beyond to Wembley Stadium, providing a huge boost to our hospitality industry and further proof that London is the greatest city in the world to watch live music. As Taylor prepares for Friday's opening performance, we are proud to give her and her fans a big London welcome, with celebrations across the capital including a special tube map, trail, and murals in her honor, Khan added. I encourage Swifties to not only enjoy the fantastic shows, but also make the most of everything London has to offer, and hope that even more people are encouraged to enjoy the incredible live music available in our city. British banking firm Barclays estimated in May that Swift's era's tour would boost the UK economy by $1.2 billion. According to Barclays, British fans are expected to spend approximately $1,000, around £848, per person on tickets, travel, accommodation, and merchandise to see the Grammy winner. The UK leg of the era's tour has already seen sell-out crowds in Edinburgh, Scotland, Cardiff, Wales, and Liverpool, England. Swifties who attended the Edinburgh gigs between June 7 and June 9 even caused seismic activity during the singer's three-night run at Mayfield Stadium. According to the British Geological Survey, BGS, the songs that garnered the largest amount of seismic activity were Ready for it, Cruel Summer, and Champagne Problems. During Ready for it, specifically, the activity peaked at 160 beats per minute and generated around 80 kilowatts of energy during the tour's 100th show in Liverpool on Thursday, June 13, Swift confirmed that the long-running tour will conclude in December. People have been like, how are you going to celebrate the 100th show? Swift, 34, told the sold-out crowd at Anfield Stadium. The celebration of the 100th show for me means this is the very first time I've acknowledged to myself and admitted that this tour is going to end in December. Like, that's it.